What teen movie is the epitome of the older I get, the more I agree with the adult? Lilo and Stitch. My opinion of Nani changed entirely. I think it helps when you realize that she's literally a teenager 18 trying to prevent CPS taking away the only family she has left while working and trying to be a mother to a little sister who is a social outcast. Shit's rough. Kind of interesting for a Disney movie to present a very real and unpleasant reality like that one. I remember as a kid the threat of being taken away by CPS was very real and very potent, and the surrealism of seeing it reflected back in an age-appropriate children's fantasy movie. Ada, I'm well aware there are a lot of dead mom's parents in Disney movies, thanks. The point was that CP social services coming to take you away was not something I had ever seen in a children's movie, though it was very much a real fear for myself and the reality of many kids I knew growing up. It was the first time I saw that reflected in children's media. This is honestly one of the things that makes Disney movies stick with us in my opinion. From the depiction of poverty and government corruption in Robin Hood, to the pressure to be part of the group you are born into, even when it means hunting your own friend in The Fox and the Hound. I am sure the reference to something that dramatically affected your life, gave the movie a special place for you. Disney really does a good job making movies resonate with their audience, whatever your opinion on the company, that shit is impressive. Disney really does a good job making movies resonate with their audience, whatever your opinion on the company, that shit is impressive. There's incredible creative people who works for Disney, and then you have Disney itself. Dirty Dancing. The dad was completely justified in not wanting his teenage daughter to fraternize with a creepy adult male camp dance teacher. This movie is the reason why I ask this question. 10 Things I Hate About You. When the dad says you're 18, you don't know what you want. And you won't know what you want till you're 45, and even if you get it, you'll be too old to use it. The principal and teacher in Mean Girls. They were just trying to do their damn jobs. I like that they were both competent, relatable, and nice adults, and not just reduced to some ridiculous stereotype. A lot of older teen movies do that. You just reminded me that this is one of the things I liked about Sister Act. Maggie Smith and Whoopi Goldberg are at odds and don't really like each other, but Maggie Smith isn't a villain. She just wants to protect the nuns in her care. She has a different idea of what's good for the Abbey. And by the end of the movie, both characters respect and care for the other, even though neither really changes her opinion. In Dirty Dancing, Jerry Orbach just wanted a family summer vacation, and instead learned entirely too much about his daughter's sex lives. Mr. Mosby from Sweet Life, dude's got it rough, Hess just trying to run a hotel but these kids are hell-bent on sabotaging everything, and to make matters worse they live there so it's daily occurrence edit, these comments have kick-started my nostalgia, it's time to re-watch the show. He was also made London's babysitter. For so many years. Don't think, that's what he imagined when he started working there. He also becomes a sort of father figure to her since her parents are pretty absent. And I just love that relationship they have going on as time goes on. He even taught her to drive, to some extent. I can still hear London saying PRNDL to this day. Damn Mr. Mosby had a tough job. One of my favorite lines ever I always reference, especially when talking to my brother, is would you like am, or fmmm? Winnie the Pooh. Rabbit was never against playtime, but can you just not do it in his house or garden you little helians? And Pooh is some frat boy who eats all of Rabbit's freaking honey. Rabbit hardly complains, oh my gosh. And then Pooh gets his fattest stuck in the door, and the whole village or whatever has to help him. Is Pooh the fat honey equivalent of the town drunk? Just wandering into places, eating people's shit without thinking to ask, and then getting stuck in improbable ways. The Little Mermaid I'm 16 I'm not a child. Listen here you little shit. I was 7 when this came out and it was one of the first movies I saw in the movie theater. I was like wow, she is so old and mature, her dad sucks. Now, I'm more than twice her age, and it's definitely listen here you little shit. Rewatching The Simpsons and realized I no longer relate to Bart. I'm a homer now. I'm relating with Mo Sislak more and more every year I'm scared. Good, cause I got a hot date tonight. Buzz a date. Buzz dinner with friends. Buzz dinner alone. Buzz watching TV alone. Buzz alright. I'm going to sit at home and ogle the ladies in the Victoria's Secret catalog. 
Buzz, Sears catalog. Ding now would you unhook this already please? I don't deserve this kind of shabby treatment. Buzz. That's probably my favorite Simpsons moment of all time. Just rewatched a Goofy movie as an adult. Goofy just wanted to spend time with his kid. That was the whole conflict. Just go fishing with your dad, Max, you and Roxanne are breaking up before the sequel anyway. Edit, since this comment is getting a lot of attention, I wanted to plug one more Disney film you all need to rewatch as adults, Recess the Movie. Principal Prickly legit at me and tears you guys. I have my own life I know that, I just wanted to be a part of it man, you really don't expect a goofy movie to hit that hard. I visited my dad the next day, and surprised him with Chinese food and Halo Master Chief collection. Goofy movie had me wanting to be a better son. I don't want my dad to ever feel like Goofy did. I remember watching that movie when I was young and felt that Max was a bit unreasonable though I understood him as to why he was that way. Now that I'm much older and live across the country from my parents, I really want to spend as much time with them as I can whenever I have the chance. Also helps that I give them a right proper bear hug when I greet them. Rugrats. The parents were so young and just doing their best. I like it was a group of neighbors that were best friends too. I get really stressed out on their behalf now. Especially the one where Dee Dee just wants to make it home before her banana tree she bought died in the car but no one could get their shit together. Stu, what are you doing? Making chocolate pudding it's four in the morning why on earth are you making chocolate pudding because I've lost control of my life. This. When I first became a dad and my son turned two and would start getting up at 4 a.m. crying and demanding snacks and then throwing them at me if I got them, I remembered this moment in Rugrats so clearly and I finally understood. Like, as a kid that scene was funny. As an adult, I wanted to just cry and hug Stu. Edit, I love my son, but goddamn if anyone ever tells you that the first few months with a baby are the hardest, punch them right in the face cause they're a ducking liar. Toddler years are way more difficult, edit too, I'm not saying toddlers are the hardest time. Teen years may be harder, just saying that newborn phase isn't the hardest, edit 3 wow, my most upvoted post ever on reddit, and it's just me bitching about my toddler. Thanks for the awards kind redditors. Babies are needy potatoes with their own schedule. Toddlers are suicidal energy machines with the ability to move by themselves, so they're highly dangerous. I spent 13 years of my life growing up with a daycare in the home. Toddlers was my life for much of that time. I'd take babies over toddlers any day. Mr. Wilson and Dennis the Menace. Seriously, duck that little miscreant and his parents that turn a blind eye to his shenanigans. Edit, thank you for the Reddit gold kind stranger. Gene Wilder in original Charlie and the Chocolate Factory stop, don't. Come back. The Lion King. Oh I thought Zazu was just an old fun killer. What do you mean, Simba can't be king? Why would you prevent the kids from going where they want? As an adult and father, I'm 100% team Zazu. Even as a kid I knew Zazu was the man. They only survived the hyena attack because he tattled to Mufasa. Not a movie but Malcolm in the Middle. I used to think Lois was a horrible mother who overreacted about everything. Now that I'm older I can see she is just an overworked working class mother with five terribly behaved boys. I used to think I wanted to be like Francis but grew into more of a Hal and I'm okay with that. Edit, I know at the end Francis turned into Hal anyway, I was get talking about early Francis, the cool rebellious teenager. So did Francis in the end. And Hal was also a chaotic rebel before Lois. This part was not included in the movies but in Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix there is this one particular dialogue by Hogwarts most loathed principal Phineas Nigellus Black which resonates with me till date. Young people are so infernally convinced that they are absolutely right about everything. Has it not occurred to you, my poor puffed up Popinjay that there might be an excellent reason why the headmaster of Hogwarts is not confiding every tiny detail of his plans to you? Have you never paused, while feeling hard done by, to note that following Dumbledore's orders has never yet lead you into harm. No. No, like all young people, you are quite sure that you alone feel and think, you alone recognize danger, you alone are the only one clever enough to realize what the Dark Lord may be planning, Phineas Nigellus. Later, Harry insists to Dumbledore that Snape is involved in something nefarious with Malfoy. When Dumbledore is unconcerned, Harry says incredulously, Professor, did you understand? Dumbledore replies yes, Harry, blessed as I am with extraordinary brain power, I understood everything you told me. 
I think you might even consider the possibility that I understood more than you did. To be fair Dumbledore himself admits that if he wasn't so apathetic about answering people's concerns and confided his reasoning maybe things would have turned out better.